Well, it's something that other cities actually come to Portland to study. How do you control growth? Now the area's urban growth boundary is up for debate. Take a look at where the boundary reaches now. Metro is considering expanding it, but Portland's mayor is recommending against it. So we sent our Chris Woodard to ask the tough questions. This is the urban growth boundary. We have housing and development on one side, but on the other, nothing. So what does a spot like this, a boundary like this, all the way out in Hillsborough, have to do with Portland and how the city will continue to grow and some of the challenges? A lot. This is a big deal. It could be a turning point for the Rose City. We all want Portland to be Portland, not San Francisco. From the city's comprehensive plan to Metro's decision on the urban growth boundary. This is a hugely challenging time. We have a crisis of housing affordability in this city. There is a lot of long, drawn out, boring to most political talk going on but it will have a huge impact on this area. There's a lot of anxiety and it's completely justified about what's happening to our superheated housing market. Let's talk controversy. Just look at these examples. Trees being cut down, home demolitions. Having this kind of stuff go on really changes what's here. Homelessness and steadily increasing housing and rental rates. When I first moved here, it was a lot easier to get, you know, a relatively affordable space. The comprehensive plan will help determine who lives where. And while some say expanding the growth boundary would provide relief to increasing rental and home prices, the mayor wants that boundary to stay put. We asked if that recommendation will make it too hard, too expensive for too many people to live here. It's not true that new housing at the edge is affordable. Maybe it once was when there was cheap land, cheap money, and cheap transportation. That's not true anymore. Affordability comes by innovation, small houses, infill, different forms and structures of housing maybe than the three-bedroom house on a cul-de-sac. Both the final urban growth boundary decision by Metro and the final comprehensive plan by the city of Portland are still in the works, but both clearly heading in the same direction. In Hillsboro, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.